This this is called the uh, quantum eraser, and uh, this is the way you refute the uh, double slit experiment. Right here we have a gun, and as the gun shoots, oh meet the slits right there, slit A and slit B, right there. And then after it hits the slit and passes through, it's going to hit a crystal. If it comes this way, it's going to hit crystal B. And it implies it came from slit B. If it hits crystal A, that means that it came from slit A, right here. So, as we follow this path, both these paths actually, you will see that as the particle goes through and hits the crystals, this is what follows. Within crystal A, once it hits crystal A, if it hits here, it's going to come over here and hit another beam splitter right here. And to make it easy to follow, I'm going to call this a freeway. Okay, This is the interject, uh, intersection where freeway 1 and freeway 2 are merged and the splitter gives you a choice the beam splitter is telling you you either go to freeway 1 which is over here and if you take freeway 1 you're going to hit detector 1 and the beam splitter allows you to get to have another option the option is to go and, and split and go towards freeway 2 here alright so this intersection right here if it hits here and it goes directly over here then we know th that the path is known because if you follow this path right here all the way down to this freeway intersection this is a beam splitter before it goes this way so if it comes this way we know where it came from. We know that the particle took this path and it hit this crystal and that it came from slit A. However, if the detector here is hit or this one, then we have a problem. This, this is the unknown path. Alright? This is the known because it's right here, it goes. It's a direct path. So anytime a a, um, a particle hits this, we know for a fact where the path it took in order to hit that detector. But since it has a beam splitter here, it has the option to split and to take this freeway too instead of one it takes this freeway here freeway two and it hits another intersection this intersection meets up with freeway three freeway three and freeway two meet up right here if the particle hits either or d2 or d3 then this is considered the unknown path because you don't know if the particle came from freeway 2 or freeway 3. Which, if you follow these things back, these paths back, you'll see that they interlink and come back to their original position. You see? This is from slit B. Slit B was emitted from this position. It hit crystal B which represents slit B and you follow that through it hits freeway 3 and freeway 4 here this is an intersection because this is a beam splitter so this beam splitter right here gives the particle a choice to either hit this beam splitter here and merge with this particle uh, that came from freeway 2 
you can see right here, right? So these two particles end up here. Then you don't know where these hits came from because the particles come right here. They they're mixed right here. So now we do have a system <clears throat> that registers and allows you to know which way information or which way the information path was taken by the particle. All you need to do is follow the path and if you ever and so whatever registers here on the D2 area this is Inter this creates an interference pattern okay and and if it hits also D3 is interference pattern because we do not know the path we don't know whether it came from this way or if it came from this one the, the particle we don't know if it came from slit A or slit B because right here they meet up. But if we hit over here on D4, then this is known. We know the path, the information path, which way it took. We know it came from here and we know it ended up here and we could follow this through and we know that it's it came from slit B and the same thing happens over here over here this is a known we know this one too this is the known path that's the known path right here and this is the known path right here this, the D4 is a known path D1 is a known path because the particle had, it came here and ended up coming from crystal B, I mean A, and it came from slit A. So we now know that uh, the quantum eraser, uh, the reason that the, the interference pattern is created is because it has a lack of information. That's, that's basically it. There's no collapse of no wave into no particle. There's no wave function. There's just simply a, a lack of information.